Hello everyone. Today we will start refraction of light. Before I start this topic, I would remind once more to like, subscribe and share my channel and press the bell icon to get notified of my latest videos. Under this topic, we will study what is meant by refraction, what are laws of refraction, how do we measure angle of refraction by using protector and we will also see a question from, from Cambridge exam board. Then demonstration of refraction, investigation of refraction, what is the difference between real and apparent depth and what are refraction phenomena. A few examples in this case would be of optical fibers, total internal reflection, periscope and dispersion of light. Refraction of light. Refraction is the change in direction of a light ray when it crosses a boundary between two transparent substances including air. Now in this diagram we see that a ray is incident at the boundary of air water medium and it is refracted. Angle of incidence appears more than angle of refraction. Now first we will define what is angle of incidence and angle of refraction and then we will explain why these angles are less or greater than each other. How do, do they depend upon the media in which they enter? So basically refraction occurs for two reasons. Because the speed of light changes and because the light enters the new material at an angle to the normal. Angle of incidence is the angle from the normal line that the light strikes the border between the two substances and angle of refraction is the angle from the same normal line that the light travels through the new medium in this case. Now here it is clear that there are two beams of light. The beam of light that doesn't make an angle to the normal or it is parallel to the normal, it doesn't deviate from its direction. It passes straight but light slows down in denser medium glass. When it comes from vacuum to glass, it slows down. In the second case, this incident ray makes an angle with the normal. So it is, it changes its direction in such a way that it is bent towards the normal. So in this case, angle of refraction will be less as light slows down and changes direction. In this picture, this is an example of the eye test actually. The optician might test different lenses in front of each of your eyes. Each lens changes the direction of light passing through it. The change of direction is due to refraction which occurs when light enters or leaves the lens. Now, people with good eyesight do not need extra lenses. Each eye already has a perfectly good lens in it. Laws of refraction. There are two laws of refraction, the incident ray, refracted ray and the normal to the interface of any two given mediums all lie in the same plane. This is first law. Second law is the ratio of the sine of angle of incidence and sine of angle of refraction is constant. This is also known as Snell's law. Where N1 and N2 are refractive indices of two medium, in this case N1 is refractive index of a denser medium and N2 is a refractive index of a rarer medium. Theta1 is angle of incidence and theta2 is angle of refraction. How do we know that uh, N1 and N2 are refractive indices of either rarer or denser medium? It can be seen that we have already studied that when light is in the denser medium, its angle is less than that which the light ray makes with the normal in a rarer medium. So obviously this theta 1 is less than theta 2 and this is denser medium and this one is rarer medium. So Snell's law depends upon angles. So this is made explicit via refractive indices. So numbers which are constant for given medium. In exam, sometimes questions come where we have to find out the refractive index and angles theta 1 and theta 2 are given. Sometimes one of the angle is given and refractive index is given and we have to find out the second angle. So we will make use of Snell's law or this equation only. 
measurement of angle of refraction use of protector we measure angle of refraction by means of protector so here we must take care of two points number one we should make sure to emphasize proper placement of the protector from measuring the angle between two segments and number two we should make sure how to determine which scale is appropriate to measure the angle outer or inner there are two scales one inner and one outer and there are two horizontal lines if our boundary of the media between two media is in line with this one or if this line is placed over the boundary of the media then we will read inner scale this protector is placed in this way to measure the angle of incidence question is use the protector to measure the angle of incidence of the ray of light at the boundary with the air as there are two horizontal lines here in the protector but this line is placed over the boundary of the media so we will read the inner scale this one and how we will read by definition angle of incidence is the angle which this light ray or incident ray will make will make with the normal so we won't plain away uh, straight away read this 55 no this will be wrong we have to take this our reference zero from here we will read the scale up to here so 10 20 30 and 35 so 35 degrees angle of incidence so demonstration of refraction so here are a few examples a pencil how we see it inside the water either it is placed in glass or a tank this is a spoon how it appears when it is placed inside the water due to refraction bending occurs and their apparent depth is different than their real depth this is a laser beam a laser light when it is incident at the boundary of glass medium it changes its direction as it travels from a rarer to denser medium it bends towards the normal and after again passing through the other material like from glass to air it bends away from the normal so these are different examples now investigation of refraction in laboratory how we investigate refraction before I start this experiment, I would like to, you to see this diagram in terms of wave fronts. These are incident waves, these are refracted waves. Here again these are incident waves and refractive. So what is the difference between these two diagrams? Here the medium is air and this is a denser medium like glass, water, plastic. Here it is opposite, like incident rays are passing through a denser medium and then they refract in the lighter medium, rarer medium. So you can see the wave fronts, how the bending takes place and how their speed changes. They slow down in a denser medium and they are fast in a rarer medium. Again, number two, it bends towards the normal after refraction through a denser medium and in a rarer medium they bend away from the normal now in this case we use by invest for investigation we use a ray box and a rectangular glass block this is a rectangular glass box this is a ray box these are optical pins a b c d and we have to study refraction if we use these optical pins c and d should be placed so that they are in line with the images of pins A and B seen in line through the block. Pins C and D should then be used to locate the point where the ray from A and B leaves the glass block. You should find that a light ray changes its direction at the boundary between air and glass unless it is along the normal. So our investigations show that a light ray directed along the normal passes straight through without being refracted. If the light ray is at non-zero angle to the normal, it bends towards the normal when it travels from air to glass like in this case the angle of refraction is smaller than the angle of incidence number two the light ray bends away from the normal when it travels from glass into air the angle of refraction is greater than the angle of incidence 
this in this case this becomes angle of incidence and this is angle of refraction at this boundary right so this angle of incidence is less than angle of refraction real and apparent depth it is advised that we should not jump into water unless we know how deep it is otherwise we may find water is much deeper than we think light from the bottom re refracts at the surface light from this object refracts at this surface and this is apparent depth and this is the actual depth this is interface air bound air and water so this makes the water appear shallower than it really is so this figure shows the refraction of a light ray from an object on the bottom of a swimming pool the light ray bends away from the normal when it reaches the surface as i have already told the swimmer standing at the sides sees a virtual image of the object above the object to the swimmer the apparent depth of the pool is less than the real depth obviously this is less than this real depth this is again uh, examples of refraction and a comparison of apparent and real depth this is refractive index which is equal to ratio of real depth over apparent depth and we, if we are given the two values and any two values out of these three we can find out the third value so the image of the feet is 0.6 meter from the surface of the water this is apparent depth refraction phenomena examples of refraction phenomena include total internal reflection optical fibers periscope and dispersion through a prism we will study all these phenomena in detail in our next video thank you for watching